Now let us admit frankly that it is very easy to talk about being dedicated to the tribes or loving them or being one with them. It sounds wonderful on paper, but it is by no means easy to carry out in practice. Well, he had started collecting these items from the time he was in Patnagar, where he had a small museum which slowly he developed and those were all brought from Patnagar to Shilok. I, I remember the museum there uh, with the library. It was a big house with about 30 odd rooms and uh, two main halls were devoted to the museum and the library. The house was situated in Nongthumai, a place called Nongthumai in Shillong. It's called the art of the northeast frontier of India. Uh, this is the first edition. This was most of the items are in the museum, which are here. Yes, that is correct. He was an advisor for to the uh, government on tribal affairs, basically formulating policies. Um, making sure that their art and craft survived. So after my father died, um, the people from National Museum had come to check the items, uh, catalog them all, photograph them all. And then uh, I remember helping to pack up the items before it was taken to Delhi. How old were you then? I was about 10 years old. Well, I hope uh, they get a decent place to be displayed as a collection and not mixed up with other items from different collections of which should have a proper place like it had in Shillong. In fact, this was the assurance given to my mother when the museum was acquired by the National Museum that they would be put up as the El Elven collection. So, but I have heard that it is not so and and. Uh, it's, it's like Dr. Elvin has been forgotten by the museum people themselves, you know. They should take the initiative to bring the collection, display it properly, and uh, so that people can come and see the collection.